Hello everyone. So today I thought uh, of uh, creating a new space in uh, Confluence because I was uh, playing with uh, one integration between Jira and Confluence and when I was creating a space, not, not just a page but a space, I realized that uh, Atlassian has done uh, improvements to the templates. Now, a space is nothing but uh, a container where you will store pages and how those pages are uh, are presented and how the different type of pages are listed is basically something that you can control, you can modify. But at the same time, when you're getting started, you need uh, some help, especially trying to figure out uh, if you're not really sure in the beginning how a space would work for you. Now in Jira, of course, we have a similar concept. We have project templates, but those templates are more than templates because in Jira, you have different configurations, different schemes. And I still think in Jira, you should have these templates because in the beginning to get started, especially to get started to understand how the tool works, these templates really help a lot. But in Confluence, I think these templates, because in, in Confluence, we don't really have this concept of schemes. We, we basically have uh, just a space and uh, you start working on it. And you can always, uh, I mean, whether we are using Jira or Confluence, if you're using Confluence, you can always modify uh, and you can customize these things. But I thought, let me just uh, create a video and also show you the improvements and uh, the new, I'm not really sure when this happened, but uh, now today I have noticed this and I thought, okay, I have to, you know, share it with everyone. In case you're like me, if you don't really use Confluence a lot, I think this video will probably hopefully help you. So if you go to uh, this option on top called Spaces, you have the option to create a space. Now, when you click on this, you see a familiar uh, screen. If you compare it with Jira project creation, in Jira project creation, you have, of course, uh, a similar view where on the left hand side, you have different templates. Now we have something similar. So let us take a look at, uh, you know, some of these templates or maybe all of those templates listed here. So the first one is blank. Uh, it is in a way, I mean, if you know the tool, if you are like, if you're a bit like me uh, and you want to do things yourself, I would say go for the blank template, blank space uh, or not, a, not, I mean, the, the space would be blank, but template would be just basic space with not much pre-configured things. But you can take a look at team. Team is basically, I can see here, they have uh, listed uh, some images. And uh, on the left hand side, we have pages. So I guess this pages, this is, I, I believe, will be common. And it says uh, showcase your teamwork, keep team in sync. We'll probably create a couple of these, uh, uh, we'll, we'll use a couple of these templates. Documentation, again, not too different. It says create a source of document, or oh, I mean, create a source of truth. We can see here uh, featured pages and recently updated, page, updated pages. So this is something that we can anyways modify. Knowledge base, uh, this left hand side is <laughs> not too different. And I, I don't really see anything uh, massively different here. But it is good to have uh, these uh, templates. Software project, of course, this will give you issues from Jira. So it has some macros that will, uh, I mean, I mean, of course, you can still do it, but to get started, you can actually expect some macros that will show information from Jira. Project management, a bit similar to the previous one, but in this case, you have this macro, I believe, that will uh, help you create a roadmap within Confluence. IT, I guess it is more on uh, the service desk, service management side. Product management, I believe is, it should be a bit similar to software and project management. Marketing, again, they have the similar roadmap. Design, okay, nothing, just a table. And uh, customer support, a bit similar to the IT. Finance, legal, sales, human resources. So, so, so they're all similar. Research, okay, so let us create maybe, um, which one? Let us create a blank one. So let us do this blank space creation very quickly blank space create and we'll see what we get and do we need to i mean we'll of course try to check how it is different from the other one okay so it says here welcome to your new space blah 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 on the left hand side i can see some shortcuts which you can add you can also create a page and if you create a page here 
um, let us say first page blah 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 publish and if you do this uh, this will be listed here and when you go to the home page you can see here that you know there are some guides for you to get started you can obviously modify this so if you click on this you can actually just remove everything this is my home page <coughs> and uh, this is uh, just a blank home page so we can take a look at how this can be modified i mean uh, it is nothing but a page so just modify it create some panels but if you are if you're using a different uh, template you will get a home page that will uh, get these uh, things for you like out of the box so team space enter oh i need to click on the create button and uh, let us look at the home page of the team space and it is taking some time maybe conference is not happy with me okay so we can see here that you know it is of course not too different because it is just a page right and uh, a good thing is that it is letting you control things how you want i mean not really control but it will give you an idea of how uh, a space can be at least the home page can be configured you can see here on uh, this particular page it is just a page with some panels and you know you can of course replace the images so it will hopefully give you an idea and uh, let me publish it now i mean I, I don't really do any change but if i go to maybe and of course on the left hand side you can see you know there is a shortcut to some plan and uh, of course this is probably just another page and you have of course these uh, pages that are probably created already for you and you can uh, use these uh, pages and uh, i also want to create uh, a space for uh, project management because I want to show you let us free first use software project and then project management because I want to show you the Jira macro and all the also the roadmap so this is software <coughs> software space oh come on enter should work right I don't like pressing these okay so it is also asking you to select a Jira instance and also select, select the project which I didn't do shame but okay let us do one more i mean we can always do it again because it is not really showing us anything right now but i can i can do it again not a problem so let us do software next uh, software space 2 jira instance and jira project let us select uh, android additional options okay nothing much permissions i'm using a free version so no permissions for me and i believe what will this will do based on the project selection it will directly pull data from my uh hopefully from my jira come on it is not really showing us okay so it says jira issues but uh, why it is not really showing anything oh so do we need to modify it i mean what, what was the point okay roadmap project planner okay let me just modify it i thought it'll, it will uh, pull up i mean these macros will immediately show me something so it is just just uh, uh okay so it says the add recently updated element blah 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 insert okay nothing nothing much here roadmap okay so it is actually asking us so they're saying that okay you need to insert the macro yourself okay it is fine i mean i can do it manually so roadmap planner so if you look at this roadmap planner it is basically just a roadmap which is within confluence not really your uh, jira roadmap and uh, this is actually quite useful i've used it used it in the past um, because sometimes you just need to create uh, a simple uh, roadmap i guess and you can also you know link it to um, some other page not bad also at the same time if you are uh, looking at uh, some issues from jira you can actually use advanced roadmap and uh, embed interactive jira timeline okay let us take a look at okay do i need to um 
I mean, the link should be already already there, right? Android board. Okay. Okay, basically the roadmap. Uh, I think we have seen this before. So this is good. Uh, I was expecting the macros to be pre-inserted for me. But anyways, I'll, I'll probably not go further. And I, I guess you get the idea. I think these spaces, I mean, because I have used these spaces before, uh, I mean, these templates before, and I know they're not massively useful, uh, to be honest, if you know how Confluence works, but at the same time, uh, I like the idea, you know, the wizardy, wizardy kind of uh, kind of an interface. Uh, it makes things really easy, I guess, because uh, there is a big image. Maybe they can have multiple images so that, you know, uh, just to get more idea with some actual data. But anyways, this is good as compared to the previous uh, space creation interface. All right, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.